Friday Q&A had a question this week. What are the journal entries with respect to stock retirements? Well, let's go through the steps in terms of number one, issuance. When we issue stock, debit cash, credit, common stock, credit, additional paid in capital or paid in capital in excess of par common. Then when we purchase our own stock, when the company buys its own stock on the open market, debit treasury stock, credit cash. So when we retire this treasury stock, the credit is going to be treasury stock. We are reversing what we are retiring and the debit will be common stock. Now, if there is additional paid in capital or paid in capital in excess of par that is associated with the common stock, that will also be a debit. And finally, if there is any difference between treasury stock, the credit as, and the debits, then the plug, the remainder is going to be retained earnings. Now, given what state you're in, there may be an allocation between retained earnings and paid in capital, but for the most part, think of reclaiming or reversing all of the contributed capital associated with the treasury stock and the remainder being retained earnings. This is one of the few instances actually that the plug is not additional paid in capital for equity transactions. The plug here in stock retirements is actually retained earnings.